Did Rap Bernard just a baby from Cleveland? Ah, ah. Now he's scratching Queen. The tornado basically just came right through here. Just look at this one. But I don't see any parasites. So I'm gonna put it right there on his eye. So if these guys get freezing rained on, they're gonna die. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my farm. As you can see, these adorable babies here sleep here every night. Tupac is learning how to climb this little thing now, which is getting kind of annoying. Okay, calm down. Happy Halloween, everybody. There's a tornado watch tonight. For some reason, my sprinklers are still running. Gonna switch this to off. And also, I remembered that I left the hose on in the way back yesterday. Man, my water bill is gonna be atrocious. I wanted to make this video real spooky for you guys because of Halloween. And I figured, what's spookier than an outrageous water bill? Okay, here's the moment of truth. If this turns, I'm screwed. Oh, whoa, is that hit rapper and artist DaBaby? The good thing is all the grass is starting to grow back here. Whoa, Mr. DaBaby, I'm such a big fan. The hit rapper and artist DaBaby from Cleveland? What are you doing here on my farm in the middle of a tornado, sir? How are you doing tonight? This is an unsafe place to be, DaBaby. This thing could fall over at any minute. Well, he knows to stay right there. That's actually kind of smart. Even if this thing fell down, he would be safe if he just crouched down. Look at this little man just standing here by these picnic tables. I love him. Okay, let's go check on the other animals especially kanye who i left in that backfield with the hose running probably drowning right now oh i sure hope kanye's alive actually i'll walk this way wow the baby's surprisingly dry for being over here i guess these things are pretty good at keeping the rain off huh? goodbye the baby they're gonna be putting the new building on here real soon you guys i'm so excited man this entire field is just soaked and the ducks are freaking out okay first i'm gonna turn on these lights so you guys can see good morning children good morning okay Let's go ahead and turn on this light here. Okay, oop, little fly there. Okay, now I can see everything over here. Wow. Close that up so no water gets in. Okay, Kevin's over there. He seems to be fine. The hose was running right there, and thankfully we have this pond right here to take a lot of that water. But man, is this ground soggy. Good heavens. Kanye, how are you, little man? The inclement weather has passed, so we aren't really in any impending danger for a tornado anymore. But I basically flooded this entire field. But you guys are probably loving this huh all right children calm down go ahead and eat your food look at this little piglet coming over <laughs> oh this sure is a lovely evening <laughs> good evening little piglet i'm holding your brother hostage in my living room <laughs> how have you been little man why are you doing this pretty soon i'm gonna go ahead and put up carports in every one of these enclosures having said that a tornado basically just came right through here and that tent is still fine also this is full of water now I I hate how in Texas we can go from three months of no rain at all to just a terrible tornado out of nowhere. But all right, Pinkerton, soup's on. Get over here. All right, son, come on. I'm going to move you into the other paddock. Look at him running right over there to the food. But look how happy these guys are after a big rainstorm. And these piglets are starting to get kind of chubby now. Look how fat these little things are. Okay, Kanye, while you're enjoying that, I'm going to go ahead back inside. Look at these fat little piggies. What are you doing, soldier boy? Go be with the rest of your friends. While we don't have any shelter here in the rat tight area, we do have these trees. The thing is, though, even if I had all kinds of carports or even a big barn right there in the corner, they wouldn't go in it. Rat Tights, including ostriches, emus, and rhea, are notorious for staying outside even during the worst weather. There are actually plenty of times in the old videos where I had to stay up real late at night to get Karen and Kyle and Kevin all into the barn before a rainstorm. This time of year, rainstorms aren't a big deal at all. These things live in the plains and they get stormed on all the time. But in the winter, the only real problem is freezing rain. So if these guys get freezing rained on, they're gonna die. I have seen Karen get snowed on before and she does do okay with that. It isn't great for their immune system and if they already have a compromised immune system they could die from that they're gonna be dry tomorrow and it's going back up to 80 tomorrow so it's gonna be fine the clappy blappies are aquatic so they prefer to be outside during the rain but i still keep an eye on them from my bedroom just in case look how puffed up they are tomorrow morning i will bring them inside got a little surprise for you guys for our halloween special but everyone's safe for now so i'm gonna go ahead and go to bed I also forgot to mention to you guys that I'm not rehoming these cats anytime soon because of what happens on Halloween. Apparently people like to do cringe things to black cats on Halloween. But I'm really excited to see what this all looks like tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and snap and we'll wait till the morning. One, two, three. 
Okay, I fixed it. I actually cured the nighttime. Hello, Queen, my adorable little baby. What are you doing? Were you scared of that tornado, Queen? Did that scare you, adorable little baby boy? Let's go see what the damage is. All the grass is much greener. Looks like Queen's been chewing on my pillow in this. What is this? Where did you find this sweet potato? Why, I oughta. Ooh, fire truck. I'd like a fire truck driving 40 feet from my house, huh, guys? <laughs> well, Gordon Quandale seemed to be okay. They're just munching on all this grass. But I think that they've been eating this stuff to death. Look at the difference in the color between here and here. Wow. And I can just throw them a little bit of grass and cut some stuff for them. I'm going to keep buying alfalfa and timothy for them. But they're healthy and safe and alive. The mistletoe is still safe in my tree. And Kevin's approaching me at an alarmingly fast rate. <laughs> Good day to you. Do you like it when I scratch you behind the ears like that, sir? Come here, sir. Give me a little kiss. <laughs> oh, nothing like the smell of an adorable baby boy like Kevin. Don't be shy, poggers. Get on over here. Oh, here he comes again. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. See what happens, Kevin. Oh, here he comes. What's he going to do? What would he even do if he actually caught up to me? Oh, he would bite. <laughs> okay. That's going to be a little bit of a bleeder. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for dinner? Back off, Kevin. You get yours last. Also, you have an infinite amount of grass to eat over here. I definitely think I should get a longer trough for these guys because now they're a little too big to eat out of this one little one. Done playing with that, buddy? Well, it's going to be time to get some more food soon. I decided I'm finally going to be tearing down all of these fences here because we just don't need them anymore. We already have fencing here. So this is going to be nice and wide open pretty soon around this time last year my brother and i built this fencing by ourselves as you can see from the shoddy craftsmanship hello kanye oh it does my heart good to see all these baby boys in one spot and the grass is finally starting to grow back here look how green it's turning that's quite a step up from brown and black wow look at all that water we got i won't have to water the pigs for a while and here comes the baby come over here son shake my hand shake my hand oh don't be distracted by this cringe white dog sir shake my hand thank you the baby also survived the tornado he did amazing job by taking cover over in the corner he's my adorable little handsome baby boy give me a little kiss on the cheek the baby come on all these guys line up here to get fed i like to think that when he hugs me like this it's a genuine hug and not him trying to fight me i also think that the baby might be the one that's picking off the fur from the back of this boy's butt but i don't see any parasites when i look really closely here why do you guys think kanye is losing some of his fur is he just shedding he's missing it in a lot of little spots like this I'll reach out to the vet and find out, but I don't think it's anything bad like mange or anything like that. Oh, but it sure is a lovely evening. Oh, he's scratching his belly too. What's going on there? Oh, and now he's scratching Queen. He's giving her a little scratch. There's a chance that this guy might have some fleas. Let me take a close look at you, baby. Stop that, sir. Let me get a real close look at you. Stop it. Stop. Stop that. Oh, wow. Oh, so strong. That was the first time baby ever wrapped his arms around my neck. Oh, 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 oh. Just kidding. That doesn't hurt. Get over here, son. Let me take a look and see if there's any fleas on you. Mm -mm. Look at my big, strong man. Oh, look at his belly. What do you see out there, poggers? Yeah, I think we might have some fleas here on this farm. I'll go ahead and get some flea treatment tonight from Tractor Supply, along with a lot of other supplies I need. Ooh. Other than that, everything else seems to be doing really well here. These animals all get fleas in the wild. But thankfully, we have the technology and chemicals to get rid of them. All right, the baby. Now, if you would please, I need to feed the rest of these ducks. Don't mind if I do there. <laughs> all right, children, come on over. I'll get one. One more scoop for these babies because they're hungry. I'm going to need to get some more feed for them as well. I like to spread it all over their back. These little barley things are working pretty well. They actually did soak up a lot of the green nastiness in this pond, but it is still green. And it's going to be green until we get a filter and everything else installed, which will be early next year. But this is healthy for them and they haven't died yet. Especially you, Donald Trump. <laughs> Fun to watch them use these cringe ah uh -uh beaks of theirs. Look at this one. He's got a little broken beak. But we rescued these guys downtown when they were abandoned wow look at that sunset this sure is a beautiful place isn't it the baby queen i think i see a mistletoe right here don't mind if i do with you children maybe queen does have a soul either way i sure can't wait for christmas season because all these creatures are going to be getting kissed regularly but thank you guys on the move give me some personal space Paul. thank you guys all on the instagram for praying for us when that happened last night it was a little nervous
nerve-wracking. Did you just cough, little man? And all of us are happy and alive here. So thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. We love you. Also, I got some teramycin for this little guy's little eye infection. I thought it would heal up on its own, but it doesn't really seem to be getting much better. Usually they do heal on their own, but I'm going to go ahead and just use this. What you want to do if you have a little kid with an eye infection is you give them a warm compress with a little paper towel or a washcloth. There's sometimes his eye will be so bad that it's just glued shut. Okay, after that, I want to go ahead and get a good look at his eye. You see how it's really kind of closed there? It's an ophthalmic antibiotic that works really well and should work overnight. We are going to put it directly on his eyeball. It's going to look painful and awkward. It doesn't hurt him. It's just a little awkward. Best to put him in a little kitten burrito first. I'm going to put it right there on his eye. Okay, after you get that in there, you just want to massage it in the eye very, very gently. And just like that, he's good as new. And he's going right back to his kibble. And I'll keep giving him this every day with a warm compress until he gets better but from all of us here at the urban rescue ranch i love you i appreciate you thanks so much for watching my videos and we'll see you in the next video oh almost forgot to tell oh.